Okay, so now that you've seen all of the presets in action, I'm going to show you exactly how you can install them. In the description, you will find this zip file, you're going to want to extract it to your desktop. You will get this file right here. Let's just move this aside for now. You're going to want to open up your latest CMU folder, CMU 1.11.1. Open your graphics pack folder, and you're going to want to drag and drop this extracted folder right here. Let's now actually go into this folder, Breath of the Wild Clarity GFX V133. Let's just expand this window a small bit so we can see what we're doing. This file here is what actually defines what preset we use. I'm just going to delete this one right here, this is the original preset. If you want to use a different preset, come into the presets folder and as you can see, we have several different presets, I'm just going to use the BSOD one. Simply copy this file, come out to the original area and paste this file right here. You are now using the BSOD preset. If you wish to use a different preset, all you need to do is delete this file once again, come back into your presets folder, I'm going to use the Jamie Beta preset, simply copy the file, come back again and paste this right here. This is exactly how you use these different presets and how you will get different visuals in your game. I'm just going to quickly load into my game and make sure that this preset is exactly working as expected. Please take note that this graphics pack is made to work with Breath of the Wild Game Update 1.3.3 or V144. You can follow my full setup guide which will also be linked down in the description if you want to find out how to use it. You also need to make sure that this graphics pack is enabled in the graphics pack section under options in CMU settings. And there we go, as you can see I am now loaded into game and I am using Jamie's Skyrim beta preset. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, and dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.